Hey guys, how's it going? Dark King Carl here, back again with another how to VR video. Now we all do it. Alright. So, Citra VR just launched. And you can get it for the quest platform. It. What's that? What? You don't know what Citra is? You, 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 you all living under rocks? You all living under rocks over there in Rocky Mac Boulderland? Don't know what Citra Alright, okay, okay, right. So for those who don't know, the Citra emulator is an emulator that emulates Nintendo 3DS games on PC. There was also a build for the Android platform. Now this new Citra VR build is actually made by the creator of Oculus Airlink. Yeah, pretty cool. So what this is, this is optimized for the Quest platform. And as the name suggests, it allows you to play Nintendo 3DS games natively. As in, without streaming from a PC or anything. Natively on the go on your Quest. Be that Quest 2, Quest Pro, Quest 3. It'll work on all those systems. Right now you can play with Pass True, or you can play in the Black Void. Yeah! Alright, so links in the description for the... ...for the emulator. So let's go through the setup. It's quite, quite simple. Go ahead to that link in the description and download the APK file. Okay? Now connect your quest to your PC via USB. Open up side quest on your PC. Alright, now drag and drop the APA file over there and let it install. Okay, back on your quest. Open up Citra VR. It'll be in unknown sources. Okay, when you initially open this up, it's gonna ask you where you want the system files installed. And also, where your game files will be stored. The easiest thing to do here is to create folders. Now, what I've done is quite simple. I've just created a Citra VR folder. And that contains all my install files. And inside that I created a games folder for my ROMs. And that leads me on to the next part of the guide, the ROMs. Now, obviously I can't tell you where to get those, but... Google Foo it! Google foo it! And you will find those ROMs quite easily. But you didn't hear from me, guys. Of course, you've got your own ROMs on your, uh... You're using backups, right? Right? Yeah. I hope so. Okay, so, however you do it, get those ROM backups onto your PC. Now. In your native .3ds file format, they will be encrypted. So they will not work with Citra VR. You need to decrypt them. So. You're gonna see in the link in the description. For a 3DS decryptor. Go ahead and download that. Now. Open up that folder you've just downloaded. Okay. Drag and drop your .3DS files. Into that folder. However many you've got. Just drop them in there. Run the decryptor.bat file. Okay, let it do its thing. That's gonna decrypt those 3DS files for you. Those new files that are created, that's what you're gonna put on your quest. So go ahead, reconnect your quest to the PC. Look for those new folders you created when installing Citra VR. In my case, it was a Citra VR folder. Open it, and then there's a games folder, but whatever you've named it. Open up that folder. Now drag and drop those decrypted.3ds files in there. That's it. You're basically good to go. Now, bear in mind this is just a beta release. And as with all emulation, there will be issues. Most notably, issues with audio. When you first run a game, 
the audio is gonna stutter like crazy. It's gonna stutter like stuttering Stanley. Like motherfucking Dustin Hoffman and Rain Man. It's gonna stutter. Yeah. That's normal. The shaders need to compile. Once those shaders are loaded in, you're fine. When you load up the game again, you'll notice the stuttering is reduced and it will keep reducing until all those shaders are compiled properly. And again, as it's a beta release, compatibility, it's not 100% you guys, so if you go to the link in the description where you first downloaded Citra Vior, there's also a compatibility page that you can look at and see what games are working, how well they are working, if it's worth even downloading, if it's worth playing, yada yada. All the information will be there. It's a good resource. And this is updating quite frequently. This launched less than 24 hours ago, it's already had two releases, so... Development is progressing really, really well. Alright, so I guess this is, uh, yeah. This is the part where we do the outro, right? Uh, yeah, I suck at this. This is why I don't like when Daigo Ned leave me, all, leave me in charge of this stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you, you like the thing, press the button, subscribe and stuff, uh, bells, ring the bell, uh, Go, go to TikTok. What, what else does he say? Uh, social. Be social on the media. Uh, ah, shit. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See you all in game. The UFO.